Tular Lake, once one of the largest freshwater lakes in the United States, has made a surprising comeback in California's San Joaquin Valley after being gone for over 130 years. In the late 19th century, Tular Lake was an immense body of water, stretching over 100 miles long, more than 160 kilometers, and 30 miles wide, more than 48 kilometers. It was so large that steamships transported agricultural supplies between Bakersfield and Fresno, and even all the way to San Francisco. Ute, what caused this incredible reemergence? In 2023, California experienced record-breaking snowfall, with some areas seeing over 700 inches, 1,778 centimeters. Couple bed with intense spring rains, this combination has filled the lake basin, bringing it back to life. The return of Talar Lake has revived the local ecosystem, bringing back a variety of wildlife. The Tachi Yokut tribe, who originally called the lake Paashi, are reconnecting with their cultural roots. Vivian Underhill of Northeastern University said that, the return of the lake has been just an incredibly powerful and spiritual experience. And they've been holding ceremonies on the side of the lake. They've been able to practice their traditional hunting and fishing practices again. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The flooding has devastated local agriculture. Farmers are facing significant losses, with many homes and livelihoods at risk. The flooding has left farmland, streets, and properties under several feet of water. Entire fields are submerged, and the race is on to drain the lake and protect California's agricultural heartland. Underhill explained that birds of all kinds, pelicans, hawks, water birds, are returning, adding that the Tachi also say that they've seen burrowing owls nesting around the shore, a species described as vulnerable or imperiled by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. So what's next for Talar Lake? Some experts argue that its return could open up new opportunities for wildlife conservation and even ecotourism. Yet, California faces a tough decision. Should we drain the lake again or let it stay? Less than a year after its revival, Tular Lake had shrunk to just 2,625 acres, according to the Kings County Office of Emergency Services. Tular Lake's unexpected comeback has sparked vital conversations about how we interact with nature and water management. Will it become a new natural wonder or a challenge we can't control?